Here's an opening statement. This is not an unboxing video. No. Creality very kindly offered to send me a 3D printer. I honestly didn't know what a 3D printer really was, but it sounded exciting. So what you're gonna watch today is a film made over a couple of weeks where myself and my wife Dorothy, who's an international artist who works in 2D painting and 3D sculpture, learns to use the Creality Ender 3v3 3D printer. We knew nothing about how they worked, but were excited in trying one. Over the course of this film, which is two weeks of my life, I've learned to unbox it, build it, install the software, download Creative Commons designs from Thingiverse. I've learned how to use simple 3D design Lego style software to actually build my own models. We've learned all the jargon about ABS and PLA filament. And between Dorothy and myself, we've gone on to design, build, and print amazing objects using the Creality 3D printer. Join us on this journey. It's not all plain sailing. I'll reveal the good and bad points, the pluses and the minuses. Into a new, exciting manufacturing world, thanks to Creality and their 3D printers. Hey, we're in for a treat today. We're actually at Dorothy's studio. Dorothy is a artist and she works in both 2D and 3D. Let's have a walk through her studio and see some of the amazing three-dimensional creations that Dorothy is working on. And to meet Dorothy. Hey, Dorothy. Hi. Welcome to this fun place. It's so, like an amusement park. <laughs> this is the creative area for making stuff well this is a 3d area it's i'm back. involved it's, a, it's an aquarium with with a wool submarine in it part of it has to do with the um sort of 19th century strange museums and also the absurdity of it so you have a wool submarine which is about as absurd as you get um and then i have this that i was bought but i would have liked to be able to oh um, make things like make things a like propeller right but it seems that one of the aspects of all of these dioramas are little um, right. this, models exactly so and then i made the boat uh carving out of foam and this figure i uh, carved and there's like a little yeah. donkey in there and then this one you had to make all these how these yeah so wood? this is suburbia oh yeah and right they're they're actually out of foam and i also also use some more uh, flying saucers here. So the, wouldn't the it be amazing house. if you had a 3D it printer? It would be amazing. Well, so 3D printing, we, we've never had a 3D printer, we, we, we don't know, but very, very, very kindly, uh, Creality have sent us this Ender 3 V3, and we even have plenty ahead, a big roll of uh, Hyper Series filaments, and so uh, Dorothy... A is, knife. And a knife. <laughs> to open it up. It's just arrived, so we thought we'd unbox it for you. So it's perfect because I haven't enclosed all the diorama so I can add right. more things. But you've not used a 3D printer before. No. So this will be good for somebody who's thinking of getting into 3D printing. We'll see what it's like, how, the build quality of the machine, how easy it is to put together, all that kind of thing. I'll Ooh. use this phone. I know you will. So I have over there this giant boat, which is in, in process. I see. Uh, it, it'll be a sinking ship, but it's, it's all made out of leftover foam from friends. So What's this? I use this. This looks like the book and it's got some stickers. Some stickers. Quick installation guide. Unboxing was an enjoyable experience. Everything was well wrapped. There was no damage in transit. And it was all in a logical sequence for the next step. Feels very solid. Materials are beautiful. Yeah. Finishing is beautiful. No loose things. No, everything looks great. This must be the back because it's where the plug is. So yeah. Turn it around. There we go. There it is. Oh, the Ender three V three. This is a heated uh, hot surface. Oh, fingerprint. Uh huh. Warning. All right. So let's um. Put it together? Put it together, and we'll do that as the classic um, YouTube time-lapse. The 
deal started well. We assumed that you first of all had to build the machine, totally missing in the Creality instruction manual that first you need to download the software. We didn't do that. Personally, I think building the machine first makes sense and then install the software. Anyway, we didn't do that and we ran into a few problems because nothing worked. So I guess we've got it all built and now it's doing a self-test. How was the, um, and we're having a cup of tea, cheers. How was the building process, Dorothy? Um, well, it was both easy and complicated. Um, instructions? The instructions. Good, uh, turns out. Well, it turns out we have flipped through uh, the, uh, from the first page to get to the materials and then we went forward. Um, but actually, if you go on their app, it's better. It also goes through that, um, which might be better. Um, and also, I think I would have preferred seeing um, just a YouTube video or something before I put it together. Um, luckily, Simon had, and he did that. So um, we're really excited, but we haven't. Um, See that we get, we have an abnormal nozzle, and we're not really sure what to do with it. Um, mm. Mm, should I hit fault reporting? Oh. You hit okay before, right? Yeah. We're kind of in a loop. But it worked out okay in the end. Once we got it connected to our local Wi-Fi, it went into a self-test mode and said, ready to print. This is super exciting. It's going to make the first 3D print. A little boat. Uh, it's printing a little, looks like kind of a tugboat. But it's interesting, it's printing, it's got all the infrastructure inside. I thought it would just be the edges, but it's got infrastructure. I suppose it has to be solid. Yeah. Well, but I mean, this part is not sol solid. I think they're upper, but it's to give it. Um, strength i assume i would recommend this creality ender 3v3 to anybody i mean certainly other artists definitely other artists but sculptors even model makers um anybody i would recommend it to i i think it's so cool well it's moving so fast it must put tiny little dots of filament and the fil this filament is their hyper series and it's beautiful it's beautiful graphite color um and it's i mean I, I thought it would be much more um like amateur hour or something you know like a little kid to, you know like an easy bake oven or something <laughs> and it's not that at all um and i'm like oh can i write stuff on it how do i do that how do i yeah, how, how do I modify things? And it's hardly used any filament. Um, and it's so fast. It's like four more minutes. The total was only, what, 14, 13 minutes. And that's crazy. Can you imagine just having a kid? You know, like having kids and-, and You b make you your own make toys. your own toys. Like, Hang on, what do you want to play with right? Yeah, like you can have a whole fleet of these guys in the bathtub. <laughs> like, oh, the top is already done. Yeah. Do it. Madam, your first boat. I know. Go look at it. I gotta see it in here. I know it's not the right boat, but look at that. Ta da! Reality just dropped it right in there. It's so cool. Like, ooh, look, it's up there on the grass. I'm gonna make next, probably wanna look at how to make people and dogs. I really need dogs. That's why I had to put uh, a little donkey in there instead of a dog, because I didn't have a dog. Okay, I'm gonna look up things that I can make on Thingiverse. So let's see what they got for dogs. Oh, dog water bowl carrier. Oh my God, look, pet wheelchair. Oh my God. So Dorothy's up and running and printing her first dog. But there was a lot to learn, so I took the Creality Ender V3 home. Hey, wonderful people. So now I'm back in my workshop where I've actually got the 
Creality Ender V3 whatever it's called in my workshop and I've got it next to the computer because we had difficulty in actually getting a Mac or a uh, iPad fully working with the printer now it does work um, it is Mac uh, compliant you don't have to have a PC but Doris's studio where you first met uh, the printer doesn't have Wi-Fi this is my uh, house and we have Wi-Fi in our old uh, water mill here in France so what I wanted to print was let me show you on the screen this it looks like a simple triangle but in fact it's something called a lathe spider lathe spiders are for holding small parts in a chuck and um, I've actually printed one let me see if I can show you up against the ceiling it looks as you can see in the illustration like a just a y-shaped piece the one that came out was way too small I mean I didn't uh, know how to print it so I um, have worked out that the Creality have in their app a scaling uh, software so I've now printed a medium sized one the one that's printing behind me is much bigger than this one because I need something bigger for my lathe which I'll show you downstairs but the good news is we've got the Creality printer working with my Mac I've got my iPad working and with the front screen and it hooked up through decent Wi-Fi here in our house I can print 3D parts excellent hey and welcome to the workshop we've come downstairs to see if the Creality uh, 3D print thing this my spider actually works and I'll show you what it's for so this is the lathe uh, chuck this three jaw chuck and the idea of a spider is put it in a chuck a lathe chuck and tighten it up what a spider is useful for it's a backstop if I want to mount this is a bad example but say I wanted to mount a small part I can push it up against the spider and tighten the chuck without that it would slip inside and then I can So for me, having a lathe spider actually made on the 3D printer is incredible. I feel like I'm on the International Space Station where they've sent up a file to fix a, a vital leak. Woo! No, this is really 21st century stuff. If you and I with our Creality V3 printer and ABS plastic can actually print parts that are useful for our hobby, top idea my next project is to print a replacement windscreen wiper for my car that's broken that would cost hundreds of euros here in france from renault and just a few bits of plastic on my creality printer great plan day two of more creality 3d printer fun now with their software running on my Mac seems to be great. It's like a space mission. Print nozzle temperature 260.02, nominal. Hotbed 100 Celsius, nominal. Time remaining 4 minutes 8 seconds. Time elapsed 34 minutes 8 seconds. Go. Another benchy boat nearly finished the reason i'm printing another benchy boat is because i've got the creality hyper series filament and i'd set it to pla when this filament is actually abs so different nozzle temperatures different bed temperature so i'm doing another boaty seems to be working well to see if it will come out better. This is Thingiverse, and it has already so many things to give you ideas, but I have something I really need for a diorama. I need a special bridge, so I'm probably gonna have to alter it, and Simon tells me I can do that with, with a Creality, so I'm going to look for bridge, 
and see what I get. And I might have to do pedestrian bridge or, yeah, see, wow. I think I like this one. Fusgonger. Okay, it's also in more than one part. Okay, download the files. Now we can send a tip if we like them. Oh, I see there they are there, save. So I found the files that I needed and here they are right here. There are three files, middle, left and right. And I will now open the middle because of course I want to see that. Oh, there it is. And there it is. Yep. And yep. I am going to slice it. Yeah, press slice. There it is like a little bridge. I wish we could have this outside in our river. Okay, I'm gonna confirm. There we go, one-click printing. I like one-click printing. I really like one-click printing. I like that it's so obvious. And here's the printer printing. Yay. Come and look. <laughs> okay, well, one of the problems with 3D printing is you end up with a lot of prototypes. And um, Luckily, there are a couple uh, alternatives. Reality now make a PLA that is corn-based, so it will deteriorate naturally instead of like plastic lasts forever. And it's also possible to take your prototypes and there's at least a place in Italy that is now making children's play maps and countertops and other things out of used plastic. So there are different options, um, and I may even just use it right away into a diorama of some sort. I can see it now. It's going to be really weird looking, but that would be cool. So it's important not to end up with lots of garbage. So what do I think about the Creality Ender 3 V3 3D printer? Well, I was completely new to 3D printing, and it worked right out of the box. I've got some exciting projects and as you saw Dorothy is definitely going to use it for her art so as a machine for a couple of beginners it works really well but also I think you could use it professionally if I have one observation and a piece of feedback for Creality is I'm not sure I really like the spools on the side I'd much prefer them on the top it seems a bit hokey this uh, tensioning system and when the unit goes up to the top it pulls out a big line of the filament which then dangles. I wonder if in the future some clever 3D printing company will actually make a mount for the Creality Ender 3 V3 to actually print with spools on the top and maybe multiple colors would be exciting. But Creality have opened up the 3D printing world for me and Dorothy. So thank you very much Creality for sending this machine for us to try and make a film for you. If you would like your own, there's an affiliate link in the description. You get the best price for this printer and by using the affiliate link, they say thanks to me. So it's a win-win situation. So if you want one, go and click on that link. Thanks for watching and joining Dorothy and I on our early adventures into the world of 3D printing. It's really been fun. <laughs> the truth is out there.